Hello everyone, Jared bk 3 bl here, and um, I'm going to show you the must-have must, uh, must have thing to do for your ICOM IC7610 right now, and that's to put the latest firmware on. So, let's get our SD card that we've preloaded uh, in the IC7610 directory, version, um, firmware version 1.05. It apparently has fixes to SSB audio quality, as well as FPGA programming, which is what I've always thought was responsible for the random tones. So let's see if this validates my theory. Now ICOM do strongly suge suggest backing up your radio settings first, so we'll do that. Menu, settings, SD card, save setting, new file. Yep, settings with today's date is just fine for me. Enter, save file. Completed. If you're wondering why I'm doing this uh, like that, it's because I've got a new microphone in my hand at the moment. I don't have it on a shock mount. It's a uh, Rode uh, Procaster, and um, I'm using that because the Heil PR40 basically made my voice too muddy. So anyway, let's uh, let's do the firmware update. Update SD card. Firmware update. Scroll down. Do you agree to the above? Yes. Let's choose 1.05. Don't mind that top one there. That's because I uh, used a Mac to save the file. We'll select this one. Do you want to start updating? Hold down yes. Checking the file. Please wait. Updating the main CPU firmware. Updating the FPGA firmware. Now FPGAs are notoriously hard to program. Even FPGAs from the same batch and the same wafer Software written and that worked perfectly on one could not work perfectly on another. And that's why the Anand team go through very stringent uh, testing. And even the beta releases, they warn you that they may brick your radio. So um, now the Anand Alpha team has, you know, hundreds of people around the world. Well, not, maybe not hundreds, but lots of people around the world testing the Alpha firmware. And um, yeah, their beta releases, they still don't guarantee uh, are going to work flawlessly and you may have to... Um, recover your radio so they're very very hard to program so that's what i've suspected for quite some time it's been the reason for the uh, random tone issue let's see if it is firmware update is completed radio is rebooting icon 1.05 vk3bl hf power where it was there we go now after doing a firmware update um, they haven't mentioned anything about restoring your settings but um, what i do recommend is powering down your radio doing a shutdown and then powering it back on just in case I don't like the way it automatically reboots like that so I like to give it a clean power on anyway there you go there's the firmware update procedure let's see if my theories are validated and uh, hopefully the Rode Procast is sounding all right I do expect there might still be some um, clipping in this video I don't have the uh, the shock mount at the moment I am hand holding the mic and I am still recording through the iPad directly, but um, which is causing me a few sort of audio issues here and there. But um, in the in the very near future, we will have studio quality audio for the Australian voice. So there you go. By the way, Rode microphones are made in Australia. They're not paying me to say this. I'm just uh, very happy with the way it reproduces my voice. I think it sounds like me. 73 from Jared. And uh, I hope this is helpful to all the IC7610 owners. And please do leave feedback um, on our video, um, whether it solved any of your issues. Catch you later. And um, thanks for being part of the Rate My Radio team. Cheers.